Well, good day, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Um, today, I got my seed order in at last. Um, I think a big part of the delay was due to a mate of mine, Joss, over at In Your Yard. Um, the seed order this guy got was massive. And I'll throw a thumbnail up so you guys can go have a look at just how much stuff the guy got. And I think he pretty much stripped the supply. Um, so my stuff is finally in, and I just thought I'd have a quick go through and uh, show you folks what I got. All right, so to start with, I've got some spinach, pak choy, and kale. Um, I keep getting told that I do not eat enough green vegetables. Well, that I don't eat enough vegetables at all. So I've got those. They're early season ones, so I can get them in pretty quick and get some veggies out fairly quickly. And they're all ones that I don't mind eating too much. So they're going to be a good start. Uh, next up, we have some beans. I've got Lazy Housewife, uh, Violet Queen, which is a bush bean and Cherokee wax. So that's my bean supply. And as you guys know the size of my garden, you might be trouble trying to squeeze all of this stuff in, but you know, as per normal when someone buys seeds, they tend to buy too much. But hey, we'll give it a go. Uh, next off, we have a seven color mix of capsicum. Now, I'm not 100% sure of what species are in there, but I will find out as they come up. And also a paprika chili. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully try and smoke and dry these uh, to make some paprika powder. So we'll give that a go and see what happens. Uh, I have some zucchini, and this year I got the golden zucchini. So I haven't done a golden one before. I've normally done a green one, a uh, blackjack or something like that, but. Uh, we'll give the golden one a go. Next up, we've got the pumpkin and the squash seeds. Uh, I got a fair few varieties there because I want to sort of lash out and see what happens, but it's going to depend on space. And I've tried to make sure all of the ones that I've bought are for small areas. Um, we've got a grandma pumpkin a golden nugget pumpkin, a baby blue pumpkin, a wee bee little pumpkin, and a pimply squash. So, as I said, I'll see how I go for space, but it is gonna be tight out there. Alrighty. Next up, while we're on that sort of family, the Kubrick family, we have, um, some cucumbers. I've got a Parisian pickling cucumber um, because I love pickles. So uh, that's what I got them for. And I also got um, the Mexican sour gherkin or cucumelon as it's also known. So I want to give those a go, a go. Never tried them before, but you know, give them a shot and see how they go. Next up, tomatoes love tomatoes love sauces so most of the ones i've got are a sauce type tomato um, a nono's italian pear a performe a brucey a san Lorenzo, and amish paste and so as i said most of my sauce type tomatoes i prefer those for a slicing tomato um, than a beef steak or something like that and I'm not really a fan of cherry tomatoes. You know, if I'm gonna put a tomato in a salad, which is very rare that I have a salad, but if I have one, it'll get a tomato in it, but I prefer to have a tomato in it and bacon, of course. Um, next up, we have peanuts. I have tried to grow these before and didn't have much success. They didn't come up, so I'm going to give them a go. Um, and I also got some inoculant, which is a type of bacteria that helps them affix nitrogen to the roots. 
So if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it as best I can. So I've got the peanut and the inoculant to try and make everything happen right. All right. Now that's about it for my seeds. We also have seed potatoes because, as I said before, I've got to try and show Travis over at Homesteading the Right Way how to grow potatoes. And I know if I fire it up, I'm never going to hear the end of it. But I'm going to try and grow them a few ways this year. Um, so none of them are actually going to be in the ground. I have here some garden bags and that's what they pop out to so they're kind of like a big pot uh, you fill them up and grow your, tom grow your potatoes in there I'm also going to use some five gallon buckets and give them a go in that so we're going to try a few different ways and see what happens with everything I'm also leaving some in the bag um, until I'm planning and I've got some out uh, sitting in the windowsill, hardening off, um, greening up the shoots and that sort of thing. Uh, I'm also doing the seed potatoes and supermarket potatoes. So I'm going to try a few different things in a few different ways and see what the results are. Yeah, I want to try and see, you know, I have grown supermarket potatoes before, I've grown seed potatoes before, but I've never grown everything in at the same time or using the same methods. So we'll give it a go and see, see what the actual results are side by side. All right, next up, another part of adding you know, nutrients and everything to my new ground, we've got some biocast which is a vermiculture fluid um, so it's just another thing trying to trying to get those good good bacteria all the good micronutrients and that sort of thing in the soil so this will be watered on as we go along just to try and get everything going and I also got some rock dust fertilizer but because my seeds took so long to get out here my garden's all prepared, so we might just do a top dress when we when we plant the plants. All right, the other thing I got from the Diggers Club is a seed catalog, which is great because the last one I had is 10 years out of date. So next time I'm ordering, I'll be able to know what, what's going on. But of course, at the moment, most of the stuff's unavailable. And also we have a bunch of seeds that I'm sending over to my girlfriend in America. Uh, these are Australian types of seeds that she hasn't seen over there. Just different plants that, that aren't commonly available to the market over there. So I've got to look into what I need to do to send them over there. And then I'll send them over there so she can put them in her garden next year and see how they grow in Georgia. All right. Well, that's about it for this one, guys. Uh, I'm going to do another video soon on planting the seeds out. So most of those are going to go in those little greenhouses that I had in that earlier video of me buying the stuff. So that's going to happen soon. So they've got some time to develop up and get some strength to them before I put them in the ground. Um, at the moment, we're still in frost time. So I want to get everything growing inside and get, get them up, get a bit of strength into them before they go outside. So please make sure you hit the like if you liked the video. If you didn't hit the like, don't hit the like. Um, hit the subscribe button so you know, so you're a subscriber to me basically because that helps me along. And hit the little bell notification. Uh, because that lets you know when there's other videos in the series. So you get to watch things like me planting out in the micro greenhouses and me taking the plants out to the garden. Um, also, my potato series. You know, hopefully they do well because if they don't, I'm never going to live it down. 
All right, thank you very much everyone for watching and bye for now.